Cher here from Tootsie Art. I'm going to do a flip cup with some leftover paint. Okay, so today we have a 10 by 10 canvas. The back is taped, push pins are in. This is just a little cheap Michaels um, canvas. I'm just going to do some testing of, I had leftover colors, leftover paints from previous pour from a few weeks ago haven't painted in a little while so I'm actually just gonna tr I want to use up all the colors so I'm gonna do a few canvases today but for now I'm just going to flood the canvas here with white just get a base coat down here and I'll also use the white uh, for layering contrast in the actual when I layer the cup so for now we'll just spread this all out over to the canvas making sure the edges are also coated so that when the paint slides over the sides it's got something to hold on to. Okay, that ought to do the trick. There's lots of bubbles in here because I just mixed them all up so I will We'll take my blow torch, my kitchen torch, and I will pop the bubbles. So my plan is on this 10 by 10 just to do a flip cup. I haven't done one in a while. And they really do create some beautiful cells. Usually, no guarantees. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'm going to use a 10 ounce cup, and I'm going to start with some white, a little bit of gold. Oops, I should make sure that this is in view a little magenta this is actually a mix of a few colors I'll put a little more white I have this really nice soft green some purple oops a little more gold I just want to have lots of contrast but not too much of it. Actually, I think I'll put a little black next to the white and hope that it does not give me gray. <laughs> All right, little teal. Again, I'm trying to use white and gold contrast because I think they'll look really pretty. I'm going to use more of this magenta because I have so much of it. I really want to use it. And I think, well, I don't think that'll look nice with it. Uh, maybe a tiny bit of the black against the magenta. Some beautiful purple. A little more gold. And a tiny bit of this light green. Beautiful sapphire color I mixed up. Ooh, it's going to be a lot of paint for here, so I think I'll just put a tiny drop of white, a tiny bit more of the gold. Um, and I'll finish off with, I have this really weird blue that I created. 
And I just wonder if when I flip, um, how's that going to look? It's layered quite pretty in the cup. But I'm not going to do a ring, ring pour. I'm going to actually do a flip cup. So I wonder if I just put dirty pour of black down the center. How's that going to look? Oh, and some more purple. Okay, let's let's do that. Now I'd have a little bit of paint there, which is no big deal. I'm going to Okay. There's already some cells popping up there because I did make a bit of a splash. Okay, there's some there are some interesting cells already popping up. Move these paints out of the way just to Now that was only about nine ounces of of paint in that cup that I use so and I still have quite a bit of paint left so this is a 10 by 10 surface so what I'll probably do is maybe get out a 20 by 20 canvas or something and do that all right that should be enough time oh whoa yeah it's kind of gorgeous Wow, oh my gosh. Probably didn't need a base coat down because there's enough paint here to uh, to move off the canvas, but oh gosh, she sure is beautiful. All oh, those colors are gorgeous. All right, so there's lots of bubbles in there, so I do need to... Oh gosh, there's so many. I, I really. Oh, mon Dieu. So many cool colors coming up from the bottom. So now I'm just going to move this around a tiny bit. Let's see. Oh gosh, there's so much prettiness going on here. I don't even know where to go. I guess I'm going to go this direction here. I'll have to just move some of this off the corner. There's some black right there. Whoa. There's so much paint on here. <laughs> It's turned into a very blue. Oh my gosh, how do I keep that just as it is, this is the question. Wow. Well, I think what I have to do is I have to actually, because there's still a lot of paint on here, I'm going to move slowly, crisscrossing down to the edge because I want to just get to the edge and pull all this back because it is so gorgeous and then get rid of perhaps some of this ultra ultra blue but I do like the ziggy zagginess of it so I'm going to wow oh boy that's gorgeous now I do want to just again carefully I really like what's happening all in through here so I'm just going to try and slide off some of this corner here but keep the beautiful purple yeah 
right on. That is just gorgeous. As I think about composition. Ah, wow. You might need to get rid of a little bit more on this side. So I don't have as much blue. Right, there we go, and then pull that back. That's a very intergalactical very gorgeous piece of art. Just want to make sure that I like that little bit of blue, but I like all the other things that are happening so much more. Hmm, okay. I'll have to look at it for a second. So the nine ounces of paint that I used was way too much paint. But that's how it goes. I have measurements on here, but that's for a different painting that I was doing previously. But this is just absolutely stunning. What is happening over here on this side is just gorgeous. The colors of the purple and the Bordeaux red, magenta, and the teal and the gold and all that stuff is just gorgeous. And um, yeah, I really, really, really like it. And I don't feel I want to do anything else with it, except just clean up the, clean up the edges here. Well, that is gorgeous. And wow, so many colors, so many so many things popping through. Now, I, I don't want to hit the torch to it because I don't want more colors to pop up because that's what will happen. I'll end up getting all kinds of white dots and I just want to keep it looking as gorgeous as it does right now. So that is this painting for today, this intergalactical pour is what we'll call it. All right, thank you for watching.